Prince of Wales has shared the memory of when he found himself upside down with my legs in the rigging lines during his first parachute drop almost 50 years ago. Charles, 72, was speaking as he presented new colours to the parachute regiment at a ceremony at Merville Barracks in Colchester, Essex, in what attendees branded a fantastic day. The Duke of Cornwall was in turn presented with the same vest he wore during his first parachute drop on July 29, 1971 and which he carried out while on a four-month attachment with the Royal Air Force. The Prince was 23 years old and training as a jet pilot when he completed the drop from an Andover aircraft into Studland Bay, Dorset. Upon his appointment as Colonel-in-Chief of the Parachute Regiment in 1977, the Prince requested to join a parachute training course at RAF Bryce Norton in 1978. Addressing soldiers, veterans and families on Tuesday, he said, I find it hard to believe that it's been 44 years since I became your Colonel-in-Chief and nearly 50 years since I made my first parachute drop, initially upside down with my legs in the rigging lines, into Studland Bay, Dorset, where I was pulled out of the water by the Royal Marines. The last time new colours, military ceremonial flags, were presented to the Parachute Regiment was in 1998. Covid-19 restrictions meant that the once-in-a-generation parade had to be socially distanced, and the 500 guests were tested before attending in family bubbles on seating around the parade square. Charles arrived by helicopter then inspected the old colours outside the headquarters of 16th Air Assault Brigade. There was a two-gun royal salute before the prince inspected the ranks, taking time to speak to troops as he went. He then formally presented the new colours and they were blessed. The colours I present today on behalf of the Queen continue to symbolise your loyalty and distinguished pedigree of which you can all be justifiably proud, said Charles. A flypast of three Tiger Moth planes, two Apache helicopters and an A-400 transporter plane followed, before the Red Devils. Parachute display team dropped into the parade square with red smoke trailing from their boots. They presented Charles with a Denison smock, a type of jacket used by the parachute regiment, that he wore on his first parachute drop in 1971. After the ceremony, the prince spoke to more soldiers, veterans and families at an outdoor reception. Dennis Mason, 67, whose son Lance Corporal Nicky Mason died in Afghanistan in 2008, aged 26, said it means so much that Charles attended, adding, the whole day has been fantastic. The prince also spoke to veterans and petted a Shetland pony called Pegasus, the parachute regiment's mascot, before leaving the event.